ഹായ് ഗൈസ് വെൽക്കം ടു ലൈഫ് സയൻ ജോബ് ചാനൽ സോ സി എസ് ഐ ആർ എൻ ഐ ഐ എസ് ടി അറ്റ് തിരുവനന്തപുരം കേരള ഇസ് ഹയറിംഗ് ഫോർ വേരിയസ് റോൾസ് ആൻഡ് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് വിത്ത് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് വിത്ത് എനി ലൈഫ് സയൻസസ് ലൈക്ക് ബയോ കെമിസ്ട്രി ബയോ ടെക്നോളജി അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ ഫുഡ് സയൻസ് കെമിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കെമിസ്ട്രി ക്യാൻ അപ്ലൈ ഫോർ ദിസ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ജോബ് റോൾ സോ കൈൻഡ്ലി വാച്ച് ടിൽ ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഗൈസ് ഐ ടെൽ യു ഹൗ ടു അപ്ലൈ ഫോർ ദിസ് ജോബ് റോൾ ആൻഡ് ഐ ടെൽ യു വാട്ട് ആർ ഓൾ ദ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ജോബ്സ് ആൻഡ് എജ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ക്വാളിഫിക്കേഷൻസ് റിക്വയർഡ് so for the first job role sps1 project associate role and they require an msc in food science and technology from a recognized university or equivalent so the monthly stipend will be rupees 31000 for candidates who have qualified csi or ugc net or gate and 25000 for candidates who do not qualify for csi or ugc net or gate so for sps2 the second one they are hiring for the role of project associate and candidates with bachelor's in chemical engineering or packaging technology food process engineering food technology food engineering from a recognized university so the salary will be the same 31000 for candidates who have qualified csi or ugc net or get and 25000 for candidates who didn't qualify and for third project associate sps3 they require btech in chemical engineering from a recognized university or equivalent and the salary will be 25000 per month so for sps4 5 6 7 8 9 and nine, they require an educational qualification of msc in chemistry or equivalent and the salary will be the same and for sps 13 for the role of project associate they require msc in microbiology or biotechnology from a recognized university or equivalent and the salary will be 31000 for candidates who qualified csi or ugc net or get and 25000 for candidates who did not qualify so next sps 15 for the role of project associate they require an educational qualification of masters degree in biochemistry or molecular biology from any recognized university or equivalent and the salary will be 25000 per month so for sps 16 also they require msc in chemistry from a recognized university so that's it guys so i'll read the general instructions now the candidate should submit separate application for each post indicating the post code incomplete and late application will not be considered bringing in any influence political or otherwise shall disqualify the candidates so kindly check this post post code for applying the job i'll put the link of this pdf in description so kindly dis- check description for link the shortlisted candidates will be called for online interview the date and time of in online interview will be notified in their website an online application last date is 10th october 2024 at 5 pm in case of universities institutes awarding cgpa sgpa or ogpa grades candidates are requested to convert the same into percentage based on the formula as per the university or institute candidates have to upload scanned copies of all certificates including educational qualification experience age and community incomplete applications will not be entertained and summarily rejected so to how to apply eligible candidates are required to apply online through csir niist website so kindly check description for applying link so let's see how to apply for this job role so this is the website to apply for this job role and they have given some guidelines before starting to fill up online applications please read carefully the detailed advertisement keep ready with you the following details documents or information so you have to have an valid email personal details educational qualification details experience details image of scanned photograph in jpg format and size should not be more than 100 kb image of scan signature in jpg sc- scan date of birth in pdf format scan sc st obc certificate scan secondary or 10th in pdf format and size should not be more than 300 kb scan 12th class certificate in pdf format scan graduation degree in pdf format scan masters degree in pdf format scan experience certificate in pdf format so if you are a new user you have to click to register here 
or if you are already registered before you have to click on apply so if i'll do it i'll go with new user register here so you have to put your name your contact number your email and you have to create a password so after registering you must log in using your mail id and password and you have now after logging in you have to select the post and post code you are applied for as i have said earlier kindly check the pdf for the post code so you have to check click the post code so after you log in you have to fill out your educational qualification so in this educational qualification you have to start from your sslc or 10th standard onwards and you have to continue till your latest degree so if you have completed msc you have to upload the details of 10th standard and your board your year of passing your class and division your marks and you have to upload certificate proofs and you have to click on save details and your 10th standard marks and details will be saved and next you have to continue for your 12th standard marks and you have to do the same and you have to give save details and after that you have to put your bachelor's degree and master's degree details so the same you have to follow the same order i'll show you so suppose you have completed 10th standard you have to click on and you have to type 10th grade your year of passing i'll give as 2014 class and division so i'll mention as first class your marks 86 you have to upload certificate proof and click on save details you have to click on save details so now you can see that your sslc marks has been saved so you have to do the same now you have to upload everything whatever they ask for 12th standard then for your bachelor's degree and for your master's degree and after uploading the details they are asking that are you gate qualified and net qualified if you are qualified you can give yes or no i'll give us no no so now you have to mention your work experience if you have one if you don't have one this is not needed you can skip so relatives in csir nist if you have any relative at csir nist you can give or you can just skip now you have to upload your age proof document the file should be not be more than 300 kb so after uploading proof of age document now you have to click on this and you have to select this now you have to select the post and post code you are applied for so kindly check the pdf i'll put as sps 30 so it will show the job post and qualification and desirable and monthly stipend your maximum age limit and post i have given sps 13 that is msc in microbiology and biotechnology and you have to click this box and you have to click on apply now after clicking on apply now your job will be applied if you want to apply for other kind of post also you have to create another application and you so that's it guys if you like this video please do like share subscribe to my channel guys thank you